My name is Paul Draws. I'm a clinical researcher and nephrologist at the University of Minnesota. And today we presented a poster on ambulatory blood pressure uh, as it relates uh, to kidney function. Our study is based out of the chronic renal insufficiency cohort study, which is a longitudinal observational study. It started in 2003. They recruited patients aged 21 to 74 years with a GFR between 20 and 70 with the goal of looking at risk factors for progression of kidney disease and risk factors for cardiovascular disease. They enrolled 3,939 participants and as part of the study, uh, they obtained ambulatory blood pressure measurements in 1,439 participants on average five years after their baseline CRIC visits. The goal of our study was to look at the rates of mass hypertension, white coat hypertension, and sustained hypertension in this CKD cohort, and to look at the relationship between kidney function and these blood pressure categories. As I mentioned, 1,439 CRIC participants underwent ABPM. 53% of these patients had controlled clinic and ambulatory blood pressure, so their clinic blood pressure was less than 140 over 90, and their daytime ambulatory blood pressure was less than 135 over 85. 5.5% had white coat hypertension, so elevated clinic blood pressure, normal daytime ambulatory blood pressure. Nearly 25% had mast hypertension with controlled clinic blood pressure and elevated ambulatory blood pressure, and 17% had sustained elevation in both their clinic and their ambulatory blood pressure. When we looked at the association between kidney function and these blood pressure categories, a low GFR was associated with increased risk for mast hypertension, and proteinuria was associated with increased risk for both white coat, mast, and sustained hypertension. These blood pressure categories are clinically important because patients with mast hypertension have previously been shown to be at increased risk for cardiovascular disease and all-cause mortality. And in cross-sectional analyses, we're going to report the results of the association between mast and sustained hypertension and increased pulse wave velocity and elevated left ventricular mass index tomorrow in an oral abstract at 4.30.